Nezuka Kamado, demon, outcast, savage, but more importantly, the chosen demon who would bring hope to the world. Chapter 1 is going to showcase how Nezuko became a demon as well as her journey to Sakonji Orokodaki. At the end of the chapter, we'll break down why Nezuko was able to resist eating humans and how this is the first step out of the four that we're going to cover in this series to her becoming the chosen demon able to conquer the sun. P.S. There's no manga spoilers. Nezuko Kamado lived a happy life, one surrounded by family. She was the beauty of the village and had a kind heart, much like her brother Tanjiro. However, her father had passed away, so it was up to her and Tanjiro to help their mother take care of their loving family. One day, her brother Tanjiro had set out to sell charcoal at a nearby village, while Nezuko remained home with her family. But while Tanjiro was gone, Muzan Kibutsuji, the demon king, had paid her family a visit. Muzan had discovered the location of the family whose ancestors had nearly defeated him in battle. Thus, he eliminated them. But unknown to Michael Jackson, Nezuko's brother wasn't home. And when Tanjiro returned, tragedy became reality. <laughs> Let's go! But Nezuko was still warm, so her brother rushed to carry her down the mountain and to a doctor when, suddenly, Nezuko woke up. Nezuko had turned into a demon as a result of absorbing Musan Kibutsuji's blood in her wounds. She fought and fought to devour her brother and enrich herself with his nutrients, but then she caught a glimpse into her brother's kind eyes. But suddenly, there were footsteps coming at full speed in their direction. It was none other than Giyu Tomioka, the water Hashira. He stole Nezuko from her brother and threatened to kill the demon. So Tanjiro rushed Giyu in an attempt to save his sister, but was knocked out cold. Nezuko ran to her brother's body to protect him from this dangerous man, when suddenly Giyu Tomioka had a realization. And so, he knocked the girl turned demon out cold. When Tanjiro came to, Giyu instructed the boy to see an old man by the name of Sakonji Urokodaki, who lived at the foot of Mount Sagiri. The Hashira instructed Nezuko's brother never to allow her to be exposed to sunlight, as the only reason she hadn't been burnt alive that morning was because it was cloudy, 
Thus, when Nezuko had awoken, she and her brother paid their respects to their deceased family and began their journey to Mount Sagiri. Nezuko's brother had constructed a backpack of sorts in order to carry her so they could travel by day. But on the first night of their travels, they came across something the two were completely unprepared for. <laughs> Nezuko's humanity was put to the test as she stared at the delicious meal in front of her. But her brother was on the verge of death, and as her mouth watered over the humans, she was forced to make a decision. <laughs> Together, the brother-sister duo fought the demons, with Nezuko saving the life of her brother in the process. Nezuko's brother was about to finish off the demon when Sakonji Urokodaki revealed himself. Dawn had broken and the demon was burned alive, but Nezuko's brother realized that Nezuko herself was outside, so he rushed to find her. Luckily, Nezuko had ran inside the nearby house, so her brother went to receive instruction from Urokodaki. The group traveled to Mount Sagiri together, and when they arrived, Nezuko's brother received his first test. And so the fate of the Kamado bloodline resided in this boy's hands. While unknown to the Demon King, the fate of all demons rested in the hands of Nezuko Kamado. Now let's rewind for a sec and talk about exactly what this first step is to Nezuko conquering the sun. But first, if you like this video so far, it would be a huge help to subscribe, like, and comment whatever the f*** you want. So, after Nezuko attacked Tanjiro, there was a brief moment when she looked into Tanjiro's eyes as Tanjiro begged her not to give in, swearing that he would turn her human again. In that moment, her brother triggered human feelings inside of Nezuko. Despite being turned into a demon, Nezuko, using the help of her family, both living and dead, was able to retain her humanity. As soon as her family reconnected with her, the human inside of her became the overwhelming majority of her mental state, thus being able to resist the urge to eat humans. So, the first step to Nezuko conquering the sun is Nezuko maintaining her humanity. But why is this the first step? Most demons completely forget about their human lives, seeing humans as a food source and viewing them with pure disgust and hatred. By maintaining her humanity, Nezuko not only has a desire to become a human again, but, as mentioned before, the human inside of her becomes the overwhelming majority in her mind, leaving her body to fight off the demon inside and constantly search for a way to revert back into a human. But, how is her body actually adapting and evolving to conquer the sun? In the next chapter, we'll discuss how this first step along with the next two steps, leads Nezuko's body to evolve and assist her in resisting the sun. And that brings us to the end of Volume 1 of the story of Nezuko the Chosen Demon. Please remember to like the f*** out of this video, comment and subscribe. Till next time.